everybody, and welcome to the Crimson Dojo. Here in Yokohama, Japan. Crimson Dojo territory. That's yeah. why we're here. And, yo, we're kicking things off in a big way. And by big, I mean really big. Literally. We, we have a boulder. Uh, oh, speaking of boulders. Yeah. Yeah. It's Marvel. It's Marvel? It's Marvel. Good old... RNG champ. It, the first ever Grand Slam champ. The contingency plan. This man is so large. Look at that RNG title around his waist. It it looks small. It looks small. And uh, you can see that uh, he still hasn't gotten that sports bra. <laughs> yeah. Those pecs. Those massive pecs of the marble. Those massive white biggie pecs. Sexual white chocolate, the mass marble. <laughs> anyway, kick it, yeah, like I said, kicking things off in a big way. I mean, you don't get much bigger than the marble. Yeah. And his opponent. Yo, look who it is! Bob Tart. The. The opposite of a contingency plan. The. The dinner plan. Nice. Could be the chicken. Be the chicken. Yo, everybody <laughs> likes the chicken. Yo, yo, it's Bob Tart. People like Bob Tart, right? I mean, do they? I don't know. <laughs> Anyone who's watching this show, leave a comment if you like Bob Tart. We're not gonna get any comments. <laughs> no, we never do. We get some. We get sometimes. Rarely, but. Yeah, that's because we haven't had Bob Tart on the show for a while. Dang. People. People waiting for the grand return of. Who the hell's waiting for Bob Tart? Is it yo, El Pollo Loco? Cause everybody likes the crazy chicken. The yo, he's got the chicken suit, the Canadian flag. He's not Guacamole. I think he's not Guapo. Like... <laughs> no, that's Boss Rutten. And yo, like, you know, doing what chickens do. Checking their knee pads. And here comes Marvel! Here comes Marvel running in. Whoa, <laughs> boy. That big gut buster. Oh, God! Marvel manhandling the chicken. Or should I say chicken handling. Whoa! Oh, boy. Marvel came to send a message, it seems. I mean, what happens when you when you hit a chicken with a boulder? Oh, there's the jacket. It dies! Man. There's the cover. cover. One, two, three! Okay, then. And your winner is Marvel. Well, yeah, it's kicking things off in a big way. I don't think it gets any bigger than that. Yeah, that was a bang. It started and then it ended. Hmm. You know, like, it's like... I only, I only remember this because I was checking the, the, the record books. But remember when, uh... When Bob Tart snapped his uh his like seventeen match losing streak by beating Marvel, <laughs> I don't remember that actually. Well, yeah, and now this happened. This is redemption. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Crimson Dojo. Here in Nagata, Japan. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yo, look who it is. It's Power Eighties. I mean, yo. This was like your premier tag team! It was... once. You can only handle so much disappointment from your sons. One son, one son, son is strong, <laughs> the other weak. They both require schooling. Who do you send? I mean, they're, they're both weak. But yet, here they are. I mean... And they're going to be teaming up against two people who have never teamed together, but they're going to be teaming up against the two new draft picks that you selected at the draft. So now we're putting them up against two people who aren't a team, who are now magically a team. It's Polish guy! I mean, it's Polish guy! The rated PG superstar! I mean, how low down the barrel do we have to send Power 80 before they can get a win? Well, by the end of this match, maybe we might know. Maybe. Polish guy, you know, last year's Rumble winner. 
Yeah. That's cool. He did things. He's going to be teaming up He's with... my new draft pick. Yeah. The guy in the red and white is now on the red brand. Now on the red and white brand, so we can be the... The, the, the Polish pugilists and the, the Canadian... The Crimson Jalopy. Cannons. And the... the yeah, the Japanese Jalopies and, you know, all those other red and white countries. Like Sweden, I think. And Puerto Rico. Not even white. Anyway. Yeah. He's going to be teaming up with Joe Pesci. Yo, the Pesh. The Pesh is here. Crowd on their feet. Sweden? Whoa. Anyway. Hey, Joe Pesci? He's... He... He looks angry. He's gotten reformed. He's got a nightstick and a... Is that a Kevlar vest? He's, and he's got a beard. And, and Big dog Pesci. Okay. Yo. The big dog coming to his yard. <laughs> I mean... The Pesh Pound. I, he can't hope to ever touch Delgado, but I mean, you know, he... I mean, it's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's fighting the dog, you know, all that. I mean, he's gonna be an angry mutt when he's decapitated and <laughs> strewn or about the floor with his entrails hanging out. What's wrong with his eye? I, I don't know. Maybe he lost it in the war. <laughs> the war of, of Home Alone Two, <laughs> lost in New York. <laughs> so he's gonna be Teddy and Polish guy starting this out though. The Pesh Polak team we got here. And Teddy looking distraught already. <laughs> He's just walking around. Teddy, got, what are you doing? I mean, like, I, I, he, he starts out the mat, a lot of matches like that. He, like, he'll jump out of the ring or something, and then he'll just look distraught. I'm like, dude, you got just fight. And there like he goes. That. Throwing the fists out of the face of the Polak. Well, punching that Polish flag. The utter disrespect. Interesting kick. The front face lock. Uppercut. Arm drag. I mean, how, how many times have we seen Power 80s, you know, start out strong, but way too many times. And there's an, there's an early tag. Tagged power bottom. Yo, Martin Lee still believes in these guys. Okay. Ooh, it's fine, Buster. Cheeks on his gloves? Maybe. Anyway. Oh, oh and, and he missed. Awesome. Great job. <laughs> oh, the full Nelson into that power bomb? It's like a butt breaker. A butt bomb. All oh, the fireman's carry. He's got the scoop. Goes to the ropes. He's gonna throw it, Teddy. <laughs> it nearly hits him. Off the ropes he comes, and... and really knocks down. There's a jump No, here tag. comes Joe Pesci! Here comes the Pesh dog. Drop kick. Big drop kick. Yo, this man right is... Forearm. This man is rejuvenated! And, and the sliding uppercut. Yo, Joe Pesci. Lucky draft pick for the Crimson Dojo. Leg drop. Big stomp. Oh yeah, both of these men are new additions to Kenny Omega. That's what I said. Yeah, I, I, I forgot. Took that. Yeah. And Polish guy back on the apron, running to the, the friendly corner, boot to the face, right to the nose. Oh, Teddy! Oh, Teddy trying to help out his comrade. And there's a right hand, there's a cover! There's a cover. One, two, two. Two. Okay. That was a straight right hand from Joe Pesci. The arm bar. Chucks into a friendly corner. I see a tag here. No! Go Pesci. Rejuvenated here. He's been training in the fields of Home Alone 2, lost in New York. <laughs> and tag back to Teddy. Keeping each other fresh. A forearm shot. Just like Subway. You know. Insert Jared joke here. <laughs> oh, German suplex. 
holding Teddy up, almost dropping him on his head. Oh boy. You know, Joe Pesci. He might be a little too far away for this. Yeah, what's he gonna do oh, here? Oh, oh he, got he got him! And oh the fish dog no. That's what was that called again? Now something. There's a cover! There's a cover. One! One two! two. Ringside four just sneezed. <laughs> oh, Teddy's oh. got Joe Pesci. Oh, and there's a tornado DDT from the corner, dropping him right on a uh, what's that hat called again? The, the, oh, the Bushanka. Yeah, the, yeah. I don't keep wanting to call it a babushka. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, Teddy Naples hits a double leg drop, throws him in the corner. Oh God! Oh yeah, here we go. The 80s stampede! I've seen this before. Hitting them with all the classics. You got micro machines, you got the uh, poly pockets, you got your, uh, your old school Nerf guns, your super soakers, and your, your Walkmans. Magna Box. Yeah. TVs. I don't know. That's <laughs> double Man, yo, talk about the cheapness. There's, There's a cover. A cover. One! Oh god! <laughs> Polish guy! Polish guy came barreling in! Good work! Knocked over Martin. Yeah, it was Okay, so I think Joe Pesci and Powerbot. Oh, 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 what a shot! What a shot! Joe Pesci is not happy with Teddy. Martin's back up. This is the time for Powerbot to capitalize! Oh, the Flying Peach! The Flying Peach! Doesn't go for a cover, though. Catch back up. To the midsection. One drag. He's back up. Oh. Got a head snap there. Near, near his own corner. Drop kick. Right to the right to the back. And to the corner. Up to the corner. There's another tag. There's the tag. And here comes the double team. Off the, yeah. Nice. <laughs> There's a cover. Here comes oh, Polish guy. Oh, and, and power bottom. Power bottom fails Nothing. again. Now, now he's going after Polish guy. They're fighting out. Teddy just Teddy's stood there. Got Pesh. DDT by Pesh. A little bit of a messy DDT there. Oh, that was a right shot. hand. Straight. Peshrog. Bolshi. <laughs> Bolshi? Peshrog. Peshrog. And Polish what? guy is in. Oh, I hope I like. Good. Good. Crazy Peshrog. Bird Karana. And Polish guy would rain down those right hands right to the mask. The bandana? It's like a. And a little suplex. Great brain buster, I think. And the cowboy. Bottom, sweeping the leg. Bottom going back to Teddy. Making that tag. The revolving door of the 80s. 80s power. Off that hooks Teddy. There's a backbreaker into a neck breaker. his hands. I don't know what for. Neutral corner. Throws him get away. Springboard. Oh. Score four on I think. Drop kick. And drop kick. Following up. Off the ropes into Ooh. a double stun? To the chest. Probably. Cover. cover. One. One. Two. Two. One and two. Ropes. I'm doing that 80s yell. Do I drop? No. Ringside Morton. <laughs> the, <laughs> the, 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 the legend virus. Antivirus. Let's tag back to Powerbomb. Off the rope. Double team. That flapjack ch chest buster thing. Cover. Whoa. One. Two. Three. 
Three! And there you have it. Your winners, surprisingly, are Power 80s. Yo, they won. They, you should be happy. They, they won, yeah. <laughs> I mean, teamwork and everything. They won, but <laughs> you caring is just out the window. <laughs> the train has already left the station. I mean, good for you, guys. You're on the way to redemption. I mean, yeah. It's, it's a long road. This is the redemption of the redemption arc for Power 80s. Yeah, because the first redemption arc didn't go so well. <laughs> and we'll be back with... So our... you're not redeemed yet. You have to redeem the redemption arc. <laughs> yeah. You have to redeem the redemption before you can get redeemed. Exactly. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Crimson Dojo. In Yokohama, Japan. It's main event time, Joe. It is. We got a rematch. Last week, battle of the former minimum wage champions. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, it's Excalibur. Excalibur, the the high flying, burrito making, throat sliced. <laughs> I mean, look. Tail phasing. Uh, Mexican man. Sure. I mean, one Mexican man. Yeah. From one to another. It's that guy. Nice. <laughs> and and uh, uh oh, what? Why is Delgado here? It's only supposed to be Arena. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I mean. I mean. He's not even supposed to be here this week. He's the champion? I mean, he is the champion! He is. There is There is no disputing that fact! I mean... Why did security not report this at the door? Or maybe they're probably knocked out. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, like... He could... He was... He, well, he was the security! <laughs> yeah! I, and it's like, you can't really say... It's like, oh, he snuck in the building! You can't sneak <laughs> if you're that large! No, you cannot... And uh oh, oh okay. So this ooh, ooh. and uh Martin's just gonna let it happen. And I, from I, what it looks like. I mean, who's gonna stop him? Ain't gonna be any of those guys. I, it's gonna be that that guy in the white shirt, he stood <laughs> up, he's gonna Uh oh. Oh boy. We got a double team! Oh. Poor Excalibur. He's gonna be so mad if he survives this. And to Excalibur is credit, he's putting up a fight. It was. He's trying. He's trying. Looks like a suplex. Whoa. No. I mean, yo, you got, you got, you got to talk to your GM, man. Hey. <laughs> This 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 big bastard, I mean, ever since he won that title, he's just been going around doing whatever he wants. I mean, because nobody can stop him. I mean, yo. Whoa, there's, there's a, a roll up. There's a crucifix into a cover one. one. Come on. I mean, poor Kelly Ray. He did nothing to deserve this. He really did not. He, he, like, and, and then okay. Delgado's going for it. One! Got one. What are you cheering for, you, you shit? <laughs> it's two on one. And this is, like, no assistance. <laughs> oh, it's Kelly Gray. Oh. He, ju he just, oh, there's an elbow. Might have been a bit of a low blow there. And but he fights off one, right into the grips of another. And, oh, oh gosh! Okay. Oh, look out behind you! Yeah. Oh, there's a scoop oh, to the turnbuckle. That's Kelly Bridge. He just, he just showed up for work. And now he's getting the crap kicked out of him. Pretty much. And basically, Ren is just standing there. Oh no! Uh oh, choke oh, slam! Choke slam! 
I think Uriah went in to do something. The big man said no. He's not done, apparently. Oh! There's a reversal. Oh. Uriah coming in. Into the scoop. Into that side slam. Whoa. I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought Delgado was going to oh. jump on him. Here's that super kick. Nope. Whoa. Wow. Okay. I mean, yeah, ex Calibre beat him right in the last week. But, take your L's? Yeah. Yeah. And there's that face buster. Ex Calibre and lands with a thud. There's a cover. cover. One, um, two, two. 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 I mean, how do you stop a bully like him? He's like, he's, uh -oh. Oh, oh, he just moves in for the kill. Uh oh, here it comes! Oh, no. there's the F5. The F5. Oh god, there's a cover. There's a cover. One, One, two, three. And there you have it. It's the champion, the world champion, having some select words for his prey. Jeez. He he just needs to stick to the book for fuck's sake. He just can't run in here and do what he wants. I mean, he's been doing that a lot. He's been doing that a lot. But who's going to stand up to him? I don't know. We don't have anybody. He took for out Marble. He took out my world champion. <laughs> I mean, we haven't seen the rug since he beat him. And... Saying that he beat him, that's putting it lightly. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, that'll do it for this week's episode of the Crimson Dojo. Uh, tune in in just a few days when we start 2GW. 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 And then later for... Words, words are hard. It's alright. Bye! Bye! <laughs>